Hello everyone on YouTube, Spark here and in this video we're gonna be making a character select menu using the top bar plus module. This will be the first video of a two part mini series uh, and in this video I'll be covering everything that's to do with the top bar module side of things. So all the code I have here right now I actually explained and wrote all this in my previous video. I suggest checking it out if you want to learn how to set up this module and you'll also learn some of the basics along the way. Okay, so first off we're gonna be making a whole new option for the character select. So let's do that first. Okay, I've made the icon and stored it in a variable. Okay, so here we need to set an image for the option. So we'll go in toolbox and uh, I searched the question mark image earlier so I'm just going to use this paste the ID right there next I'm going to set a tip that's uh, the sentence which will show whenever I hover my cursor over the option okay and now we're going to be making the drop down menu now in the drop uh, drop down menu we are making other option actually first let me show you what this is gonna look like okay as you can see we have the new character select option so let's click to change character if I click it it opens up one option uh, uh, right now because uh, that's what I wrote okay so let's say I want three different characters in my game so we'll be making three different options for the first option I'll name it um, Gojo let's say now let's say I want icons with uh, all three of these character options we'll just do set image um or toolbox all right brawly here we'll use this for all three As you can see all three options show up and all three of those have the same icon. Okay, so now the character select is set up. Um, at least the interface is set up. Now we're going to be creating a function for all three of these options. So we'll do bind event. So before creating this function, we're gonna need three variables to detect if we have already selected the character or not. Okay, so basically the code that's in these functions will only run if they are not already selected. So that's why we're using these variables, we're using them to detect whether or not we have selected our character. So I'll cover the rest of the stuff in the next one which will include how to change your character model, how to load scripts into it and delete old scripts try to release that video as soon as i can so i hope you guys learned something in this video uh, make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one